Hello, it's Rosella. I'm here with my vintage French laces. I was so thrilled to get these um, in the lot that I purchased. I want to show you the details of the cards that these laces came on because I find them absolutely fascinating. First of all, each and every one says, right down there, made in France. Each one contain, has a label up here that says meters and yards. And each one is hand corrected actually, or most of them are hand corrected from 11 to 12 yards. They are all 90% cotton, 10% nylon. Um, and every single one of them has a handwritten number up here. Um, and that tells me that they were dealing with pretty small batches with these laces. Um, these were all, each card like this was wrapped in plastic that was airtight, um, which is so lucky because they are absolutely in perfect condition. I don't know how old they are. Um, I do know that the company that imported these into the United States not only no longer exists, but I could not find any information about that company on the internet. And I think that says a lot. So I'm thinking it's somewhere between the, the, I believe these laces were made somewhere between probably the 30s and the 50s, okay? I'm not completely sure, but these are definitely very high quality laces. So each one comes on a blue card like this with this paper that slides underneath and they look like that in the back and I was just thrilled to get them. Anyway, so this is the first one I have. Um, it is called Anouk and again I will write all the names and prices below. This is what it looks like. Um, about an inch and a half wide that one I believe. Okay. A N O U K Anouk is this this lace, and I have at least four no twenty four yards of each and every one of these I believe. This one got just folded up right there as you can see, and that that's like it. That's as far as any damage or anything with any of these laces. So this lace, I thought this was the same as that previous one, but it's not. It's different. So, I had named this a nuke too, but that's <laughs> a boo-boo. Um, so, let's see, what shall we name this one? Uh, I have to think of a name for it. Okay, I'll come back to that, but that's that one. And that is a little bit wider than a nuke, just a smidge, okay? This one here, smaller, sort of has a leaf pattern on it. This one is called Antoinette. Isn't that just lovely? Um, this one is very similar, has that same sort of leaf pattern, but it is wider. The leaf pattern is at the bottom. It has the sort of Swiss dotted effect. And if I hold the two of them together, you can definitely see the difference there. This one is just about an inch wide, maybe just smidge over an inch. This one is called LOD. Elody. <laughs> this one is the smallest. It is called Cecile, and as you can see, it's a uh, really tiny lace. This one here, sorry for knocking the camera, is called Claudine. Scalloped edge, super pretty. Um, floral pattern going on in there. Um, very, very vintage. Of all of them, I think that one may be the most vintage looking. That is Claudine. This one here is a wider one, about an, a little over an inch, inch to an inch and a half. Um, this one is called France. Okay, that's that one. And let's go back to this one. What shall I name this one? I'm trying really think to come up, really fast to come up with a um, a French name because I gave all of these French names. Um, uh, da -da, now I can't think of anything. Oh well. I will call it Aime. A-I-M-E. 
like the French version of Amy, okay? So, if you are interested in these, any of these, let me know. Um, these are going to be among the most expensive laces that I will sell. Um, and I hopefully you can see why, because they are exquisite and beautiful quality. So, yeah, just let me know. Thanks. Bye.